What's going on to you with Ant Squad? It's your boy Ant Beck. We guys with another video. So we're going to check out best anime villains. Now there are some villains out there that has caused a whole lot of despicable, disgusting acts that you could ever really think of. Like if you are a true in anime fan such as my myself, but there are some anime villains that will take disrespect to a whole different level. And I know there are are all types of villains I could possibly think of, but I'm not going playing. But on this video that we're about to check out, I know for a fact this is going to be a really good one. So, enough wasting time. Let's get straight to the video. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing to the channel. As a lady, if you're new to the channel, run the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love y'all so much for showing love to the channel. Roll to 1K. It's up and stuck. Let's get to it. Aw, shit. Welcome back with another video, y'all. Today we got best villains in anime, man. Let's get it. This one. It's gonna be a little different though. Instead of going by certain fights these niggas have done, we just gonna go off the worst things they've done. So let's get into the incarnation of evil himself, Kid Boo. Oh the first man! Be when Goku and Vegeta saved everybody, and this and this shit has Super Boo fucking tweaking, yo. Like I ain't gonna lie, he was roided up. Nigga looked like prime time. He looked he looked buff, just like like this this dude. But boy oh boy, in the Boo saga, what Kid Boo did when he arrived on the first episode, when he transformed into Kid Boo. Oh my god. The amount of craziness that he did is absolutely ridiculous. Blew up the planet on the first episode. Went to heaven to run the fade that he already killed. And was going to kill him again. Like, this man Boo is definitely the ultimate menace. And he is the president of Black Air Force Energy. And if you think otherwise... Leave it in the comment section. I don't want to get y'all who's who's like the really men menace villain in anime history. Leave it in the comments. I'm Ronnie Coleman, bro. But mm -hmm. everyone started to notice something was up. And look at my boy Supreme Kai. Look at the look on his face. He was this shitting like bricks. The fucking veteran at my job looks like when a box falls, bro. This is the exact look. That boy Kid Boo is now fully manifested. In. What the fuck? Why does he low key stand like me? But that shit really gave Supreme God PTSD. Mm -hmm. He was getting flashbacks to all the Kai's he killed. That is the reason why he's Supreme Kai. Oh, yeah, you're cooked. These boys instantly started clowning Kid Boo, though. They thought this shit was finna be light. Except nope. my boy Dende, which low key made me proud because Namekians are no cap the black people of the Dragon Ball universe. We ain't finna speak on that, though. Kid mm -mm. Boo just started screaming, though. And that shit was ripping apart the world. That was and crazy. That nigga got boarded out real quick. And you know what he did? He said, fuck it, let me blow up the planet. What? Like, bro, that is crazy as shit. They, they do block it, I'm not gonna lie. Only for him to pull out another one like he's Madara Uchiha. And then that shit had Goku and everybody shook. Supreme Kai's like, oh, nah, y'all niggas gotta slide right now. Goku tries to pull a talk no jutsu. Yeah, that shit did not work. And he, he up smiled. The of all time. I'm talking about this shit was the equivalent of getting picked up at a fat nigga at lunch football, yo. After he blew up Earth, bro really went around the universe just blowing shit up until he made his way into mm -hmm. heaven. And this is going to bring us on to the second villainous thing this nigga has done. Bro made his way into heaven. Everybody's just chilling. And they look up. And see Kid Boo and Supreme Kai's like, oh yeah, nigga, we're cooked. Cause no one in this bit is hanging with him, yo. Hell he nah. Around and he knew this shit was gonna be like, bro, he started rocking. He the right. Fuck out. He started spinning the block. Flying. And wait, is that my nigga PyCon? I haven't seen him since the Gogeta video. Slept on banger, by the way. And oh shit, is that? I actually don't know who the fuck that guy is. But obviously, he thought he was a shit. He goes to walk up to Kid Boo, only for him to miss his punch and get hit with that Josh Giddy ass dingling on his head. And that shit was nasty. Listen to the sound it made. And after Damn. this, PyCon tried to get his one, only to get fucking crossed up. This nigga was lost. PyCon did make me proud, though. Bro said fuck that hand to hand shit in this angle. Like, he turned that nigga Kid Boo into a donut. Damn. <laughs> and only for it to heal. Like, why did why did he heal like that? And why did he make that nasty ass sound, bro? For and real. One shots both of these bum ass niggas, and Krillin pulls up. I'm like, yeah, come on. We all know Krillin ain't really finna. Yo, what this man, what Kid Boo did to Krillin, this man was literally legit about to kill Krillin again. Like, nah, this, this, that violation was in fucking sane. Stand on no business. But bro did turn him into Gojo. Only for a kid would have the worst animation I've ever seen and just troll the fuck out of Krillin and proceeded to beat the absolute 
breaks mm-hmm. off him, bro. And then hit him. Hey, damn, my fault, y'all. Hit him with that Hulk versus Loki treatment. But that's enough of that. Next villain we got is just, oh my fucking God. This punk bastard Mahito, bro. And specifically, when he killed my boy Nanami and when he made my boy Mekamaru die virgin. We cut to Damn. Doing his last stand. I'm not finna lie to y'all. This part's gonna be real short since I already covered this in the video. But mm. this shit is bad, bro. He looked like a fucking half piece cook of steak, bro. And he kinda then, does. Right? What made it worse? He fucking that bitch out. He living his best life in his head, even though in real life he is fucked up. Bro <laughs> puts his hand on his back and I'm like, damn, this nigga's cooked. You wanna know why? Yuji comes around the corner and just for the plot, that's the main character, so someone has to die. And I'm like, well damn. Mahito made that nigga look like one of the silver bags of popcorns y'all know you put on a stove and shit and the bitches blow. That's yeah. That's bad, bruh. My boy Yuchi was really going through it, but not as much as my boy Mekumaru because that shit was bad. Bro oh, got his boy. body back and was determined to get some pussy, but this nigga Mahito was hard, like, I'm talking about insane cock blocking. Like, Damn. My boy really thought he could win, and no cap. If it if it wasn't Jujutsu Kaisen, I would have thought he would have won too because he was putting in that pain. All until Mahito popped that, <laughs> all until he popped that domain expansion, and that boy Mahito was feeling himself. He was really shit talking until oh God. Mekumaru popped his self revive and shot him in the back. And I ain't gonna lie, that shit had Mahito turning into fucking Doctor Seuss characters, man. Like I ain't For gonna real. lie, that shit was some freaky shit. And then he just blew up. My boy Mekumaru was turned though. He's screaming all this shit. He thinking about the first bad bit. He gonna crack. <laughs> and then he got stabbed in the neck. Oh, yeah, shit, you're cooked, buddy. Look at the evil smile on his bastard's face. Damn. That boy had one last robot, and he was standing all types of business until he got overwhelmed, and that shit clapped me. <laughs> and that shit slapped me, bro. That boy died a virgin with no play, but this shit is like Paul Blood. And he went out like, sad. You really do hate this motherfucker. Like, you really start to hate this motherfucker, Mahito, after a while. But some of you guys can defend the next guy. I can't, because he's Hitler of his generation. Who? That boy, Aaron Yeager. And we're oh, gonna do boy. Thing for him, bro. We're covering the fucking rumbling, because that's why not. Now, we could cover when he murked this bitch and started drinking her blood in all the glass. like That was so blood. disrespectful. But I ain't doing that, because I don't find that's an evil deed, because he really just like me. Because this is what I do to my girl and my peer. You know what? Too much information. <laughs> Yo, you know, I need to hear that. Alone is just a terrible fucking deed. Bro released every colossal titan, and it's said to be hundreds of thousands of these motherfuckers in the wall. He released every one and started marching like a fucking band around the planet, bro. Oh my, this shit was bad. Like, all you see is a thousand footprints, and this what's left of people when they're getting stepped on. When up. That right there is like so violation. That man Aaron Yeager was so disrespectful. And the fact when he mentioned that he beat a girl, beat some like girl up and drank her blood and glass. Oh nah, that is that that was disgusting. And that's so disrespectful. That's a pure violation. Aaron Yeager definitely top villains ever. Like you see people trying to escape, but you just physically can't. Bro, because this by these niggas walking, they turn everything into dust around them. And at this point, people are just accepting it. Some niggas are calling this shit Judgment Day. Nigga, this is not Terminator, man. Children are crying, niggas are sliding, but people are just fucking dying. Hold up. That was kind of hard. Whoa, whoa. I ain't know I was a rapper for real. I ain't know it was hard. But there really just isn't shit you could do about this because this is just a fucking shitty situation. Because even if they don't step on you, nigga, you burn alive. Come Damn. On, come on, bro. How is that fair? This shit it's really not about how fucked up humanity was. You can't even have a car because these niggas will rip you out of that bitch and try to take your own car. This thing is stepped on. You're not even safe if you're an animal, bro. Nigga, why are you stepping on giraffes? You're supposed to talk about freedom. What did they do? Dude, but exactly. We, and we take a look at Aaron's Fouting Titan and this, besides that one like slug looking Titan that had no face because he always dragged his shit on the ground, hey, might yo. be the most freakiest looking shit I've ever seen. Why is his legs, like, why are your legs so disproportionate for the rest of your body? Nigga, why are your ribs so damn big, bro? And amidst all the chaos, we see a little thing of Kid Aaron talking about some freedom. Nigga, you are, you just committed mass genocide on a world oh, scale God. of freedom. You are a terrible person. But the thing that really put him on this list. What he do? Because I'm not going to lie. I was going to put Griffith. But we all know. I don't know how the fuck I've been able to show most of that shit. Oh, the thing no. That put don't. Him on this list was the baby scene. Because it's really like. Let you know he didn't give no fucks. Amidst all the destruction. You see most people just accepting their fate, bro. 
And this shit is really sad. Like, this is a giant group of people. And, like, they're... And they're, they're just stepping on cliff, people. And this lady's carrying her baby. But, like, everybody's pushing each other off the cliff. So the lady falls. The father ain't gonna lie. He pulls an Odell one hand to fuck out this baby. And they let, they all start passing around, bro. Yeah, that, that baby got fucking cooked. That nigga did not survive, bro. Damn. That nigga's not living to see the next generation. He is a speck of dust on the ground. But that just really lets you know that, like, how fucked up Aaron truly was in the head, bro. He was. But that just lets us know we at the end of the video, baby. Hey, man, hope you guys like and enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for all the recent support. And to be fair, my fault, this video did come out a day late because I did fuck up the editing and deleted the whole audio. So I had to re-record this. But fuck it. We got our uh, best fights in anime. What day is it? Today's Tuesday. We got best fights in anime coming out Friday, man. So hope you guys enjoy that. Yeah, I'm going to end it right here, ladies and gentlemen, because... This was a really, really in, insane video because these villains, yeah, they really deserve to be up there. Especially Aaron when he committed mass genocide and the fact how he was talking about freedom. Yeah, he definitely deserved to be on the best an anime on the list. But with Kid Buu on the other hand, what he did, oh my god, he's literally the top top one with all them vil villains up there because... The amount of craziness that this man has done, bro, blew up the planet on the first episode, screaming, causing like a whole ass earthquake, blew up the planet, went to heaven to run to get more smoke, and most like likely tried violently kill and try to kill him again. Nah, bro, Kid Boo, he's the top one villain for dang sure. If y'all think have other villains that you could possibly think of, leave it in the com comment section. But this was a really, really dope video. Comment down below what you guys enjoyed from it. I appreciate the time. Roll to 1K, it's up and stuck. I love y'all so much for showing love to the channel. Roll to 1K, it's up and stuck. Thanks for chilling with me. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.